A viewer sent me a Christmas thrifting present. This would make the perfect final video for the channel for this year. Let's unbox it together. So I know the camera, I don't think you can see. I'm wearing my, my Solstice festive reindeer horns. I think I'm gonna put them in the thumbnail. We'll see about that in the future. Depending on how much they annoy me, they annoy me a little bit. I may or may not make them disappear at a certain point throughout this video. So this is, the, the, the package is from a, a very nice viewer in the UK. And I know for certain it contains um, a variety of um, old schoolish, the types of PC games I collect. He also said that it contains a few surprises that remains to be seen exactly what that is as like I have no idea he said it's a he said it's also a present like he collected this uh, he was interested he, he dug uh, some of my videos much like the other person uh, the other collector and he was like look I'm into collecting as well I don't collect PC games but I do see a fair bit of them so uh, give me a list of things that you're looking for and if I find them I'll get them and I'll send them to you at a certain point and I'm like cool like, I'm not I'm not averse to asking for help I'm uh, least averse to receiving a uh, video game thrifting presents or retro tech thrifting presents for that uh, for that matter wink wink and it's just so happened that this uh, <laughs> this uh, package was uh, he was ready to send this package around the solstice holiday season and uh, he most likely added in some extras i don't know if it's gaming extras or candy extras or i don't know we'll just see we'll just see but i'm i'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some games in here because otherwise I, I i wouldn't be doing this <laughs> i wouldn't be opening this on camera for the thrifting show uh, if uh, i wasn't pretty sure this has uh, video games in it so allow me to take out uh, anything that contains my address or uh, the person's address which would be this for now. But he did have sent me this nice um, Sega <laughs> plastic. I don't know how, how old is this? I think this, I think this is the first piece of retro uh, collectible in the, in the box. How old is this? Fascinating and funny at the same time. I remember when I was super young, like in the 90s, one of the most um, sought after plastic bags was a plastic bag yes um, i mean i grew up in a very a very poor time uh for you know my country and myself as well uh but there was one particular plastic bag that was very sought after and that was the one with the teenage mutant ninja turtles on it it's it's like a classic plastic bag at least in romania uh, most likely in other areas as well but uh, yeah that was the most sought, at, uh, sought after bag not to have or to use per se as a bag, although that would happen as well. But no, what we would do is we would uh, straighten it up and just uh, put A4 paper on it and trace the turtles and make posters and have posters of the turtles. Ah, childhood. This looks like a, this looks like a CD. Oh shit, no, it's a, it's a personalized. Yes, it is. It's a personalized Christmas card. I've never received Christmas cards because Christmas cards aren't things where I come from, but this is a very good, it's a Sonic. It's, apparently uh, this, uh, this viewer of mine is big into uh, Sega stuff, which is nice to know. And there's a nice dedication here. I super appreciate it. And this is super, this is super cute drawing of, say, of Sega, no, of Sonic. Even I know this is Sonic. Super cool, I need to, I need to, I need to save this and maybe put it next to uh, my Batman logo right here and save it for a while. It's very nice, super appreciate it. Okay, that was nice and unexpected. A, a, a cool Sega plastic bag and the Christmas card. Okay, so this guy, he must be, he, he must send a lot of packages because holy shit, this is packed tastily well. Well, he did say he's a collector, so, you know. Oh, oh, oh yes. Cue, the, cue that song, oh yes. Bow, bow. We got a bunch, two, four, I got five here. And another sexy five here. Anything else, give me a sec. Oh, okay. He sent me, he also sent me a Star Wars Battlefront gigantic poster. And even though 
might not be exactly my thing, I know who will totally love this and I will re-gift it. I'm letting you know right now. I will re-gift it and the person who's gonna receive it probably already knows who she is. So that, but I appreciate it a lot. And what the fuck is this? Oh shit. Oh, this is a gigantic, holy fuck. This is a gigantic Doom poster. Ah, it's the new, it's the new Doom. I haven't played, oh, well, relatively new Doom, apparently 2016. Is it? It's not that, it's not that new anymore. Oh, and this is a secondary version. 2016, wait a minute, that makes it what? Eight? No, six, I'm an idiot. Makes it six years old? Ah, still needs, still needs four more years before I look at it. But thank you very much for this as well. My posters are pretty, I'm pretty Batman centric in terms of posters, but uh, I appreciate the bonuses. Thank you very much. Also, I appreciate the very, the very solid packing. Now, game time. Uh, the, the first one, the first game that I got here is a Civilization 5 Gold Edition. Oh, it's in a nice sleeve. Hello, Civilization 5. Includes Gods and Kings, uh, expansion and all available add-on content. Thing is, I played a fair bit of this. I remember it quite, uh, quite, it was not, it was a pretty good Civilization game. I think that I played this one second most after Civilization 2 and uh, I am collecting the Civilization series and I had a bunch of them and this is gonna help towards the uh, towards completing the collection and this is gonna help even further because he also sent me Civilization 3 complete which is the bomb uh, so I got this I have Civilization 2 I have Civilization 2 test of time I have Civilization 2 call to power and I also have Civilization I think I have four? Not sure, but I'll check. Civilization series is, uh, uh, got two more entries. And this is another series that I think this may or may not almost complete it. <laughs> Worms 3D, if you remember I was talking about, I think I have, I almost basically think I have all the Worms titles, except for the first one. I'm gonna need, at the end of the year, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to do a bit of uh, reordering and uh, stuff in my titles and see what's what and what's where. But uh, yeah, definitely, since, I think I mentioned I'm I'm collecting the Worms uh, series, so uh, this is good. I didn't have it. Ah, here's a classic. It's not an OG. It's a reprint, but I don't care. Uh, it's a sold out version. None other than Dune 2000. My first Dune title. My first physical Dune title. Does it have anything extra in it? It doesn't. But hey man, it's Dune 2000. Finding any of the older Dunes, whether it's uh, the first one uh, that I covered, uh, Cryo's Dune or Dune 2, those will be considerably more difficult. This wasn't easy either. Like I haven't seen Dune 2000 at all in my neck of the woods. Again, like these are uh, these games are things I haven't seen um, around the thrift stores that I visit. Hence why I had to get them, I had to receive them as presents from the UK. But Dune 2000 is a big, is, is a big get for my collection. Collection. and um, yeah I'm definitely gonna it's, it's it's an important title maybe it's not it's not as big as Dune 2 obviously but it is important because I'm also a gigantic Dune fan as you as you may well know uh, I've talked about Dune the books and the movies several times on the channel and uh, I'm obviously collecting a lot of more or less not everything Dune related. I'm pretty sure there is some weird Dune shit out there that I'm not interested in. But uh, I am interested in like books and if there's, I think there's some comic books. I, I know there's a coloring book for the movie. I doubt I'll ever get that one, but I am, yeah, Dune is one of my things, basically, more or less. Like Batman, Judge Dredd, Dune. I don't think that's the order necessarily, but you know, it could work. This one is Zed Steel Soldiers. This isn't Zed. This isn't the game I covered. This isn't that classic. This is a sequel to that game, which I've never played, but I really like Zed. It's also one of those titles that I first saw in <laughs> in a magazine and it was not a gaming magazine. It was a, uh, it was a science magazine in Romania. So um, Zed has always been, has had this, uh, has this iconic old school importance for me and uh, yeah i'm definitely looking for zed uh, the the og zed i i actually contacted a seller on facebook about a box zed never answered so it is what it is i'm collecting uh, the strongholds i have stronghold 2 but uh, and i don't have stronghold 1 which is the one i played but i collect i collect two as well because 
it's nice to have the entire series even if I didn't get into it. Ah, Delta Force. And this one is still uh, wrapped in shit. Delta Force, not the usual type of stuff I play. However, just wait a bit, wait till next year and my Project uh, Iggy video goes out. Uh, this was also a super big game in my neck of the woods uh, around its release and afterwards. Like people were playing this in internet cafes and shit like that. Again, not the type of game I normally play, but I played it back then as well. And depending, depending on how Project Iggy does, I may or may not cover this one as well. Super, super happy to have it. Super happy, super classic for me. Hey, the Rollercoaster Tycoon collection i think it's complete now is it this is time twister this is the expansion pack uh oh this is another expansion pack that's nice mm. is there are they are these all just the expansion packs let me see mm -hmm -hmm. no it says requires roller coaster tycoon. requires roller. okay so these are just expansion packs i don't think i have roller coaster tycoon 2 yet might need it but cool ah and since i was talking about stronghold stronghold one wonderful wonderful it's a it's a reprint but it's totally fine oh has a manual in it dope dope tastic it's a nice hey fuck you it has english has strong so this is this is great and also what it's another one but this is stronghold deluxe with patch 1.2 included i think that's what the deluxe stands for ah yes unfortunately i th he i think he mentioned yeah he mentioned that something is amiss this one has no disc, but if it has the manual, I'm still interested in it because I will find it eventually. So this is for when I find Stronghold Deluxe. It does have the manual in it. So that's cool. That's, that's just as good. Um, well, not as good as having the disc as well, but it's like two thirds there more or less. It was a great uh, final thrifting episode for the year, even if I didn't have to go out thrifting per se. I super appreciated the, uh, the, 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 the nice thoughts in the card. And this, this is fun. I, I'm, I'm gonna need to know how old this is because I doubt it's new. That's my point. <laughs> very good, um, uh, very awesome titles for my collection. I haven't seen any of these really uh, in my uh, in my thrifting uh, runs. So uh, very important, very important titles to have in my collection. And the posters and everything, really nice, really cool. This is gonna be the final edited video for 2020, well, which? 2022 but I'll likely stream from either before this or after this. So we can still get to talk, but not with all of you. Next year on the channel, uh, basically expect more of what's been happening this year. Thrifting videos uh, or pickups videos like this one, um, depending on uh, the, the thrifting, the actual footage videos, uh, it will depend a lot on the weather, to be honest. Also, I will still receive, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bunch uh, of other shipments from, um, from viewers, so uh, those will also be great for my collection. So yeah, pickups, thrifting videos, and uh, deep dives into older games. The things from my childhood and maybe up until my early 20s, let's say. As well as a couple of more experimental videos. I'm going to try to dip my toe a little bit into talking about some hardware maybe. And also maybe a little <laughs> and dip my toe a little bit more into uh, discussing subjects from a different sort of perspective uh gaming related subject from a more uh philosophical approach so um that's kind of that's the general gist of what i have planned for this next year but no plan survives the battlefield and um we'll see what happens when it happens up until then thank you very much for watching i've been steven nonsense have a great rest of your year as much of it as uh, as it still remains and I'll see you in my next video.